Alright, I want to show you a cool way of figuring out the area of a trapezoid. You could um, calculate the area of a trapezoid using the area formula for trapezoids. Just plug in the numbers, chug, you're done. Um, but this is a cool way that involves um, some, some slightly creative thinking, so th this should be pretty fun. Um, so, the way you do it is actually you cut a trapezoid into two triangles, then find the area of the triangles, add those up, boom, you've got the area of the trapezoid. So, I've got uh, a trapezoid here um, with uh, one base is three miles long, um, three miles, and the other base is seven miles. And, it, and trapezoid is just a figure with two parallel sides like that. These two parallel sides are um, c called the bases. So this one is seven miles long. And then the height of the trapezoid is five miles. And, the, and the, the height is just the distance between the two bases. So this is five miles here. So OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop this into two triangles. Um, let me grab my line here. Boom, like that. You connect to um, there we go. To to cr chop it into two triangles. What you do is you connect two non-adjacent vertices. So the vertices are where the sides of the trapezoid meet. So there, 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 and there. And what it means for uh, in a vertex to be adjacent is it's the next one over. So if I look at this vertex here, the next one over in this direction is this vertex, and the next one over in this direction is this vertex. So uh, these two vertices are adjacent to this vertex. Um, so to to draw a diagonal, I connect this vertex and a non-adjacent vertex. So this one over here is not adjacent. So if I connect those two, I've now cut this trapezoid into two triangles that I can work with. Okay, so the area of a um, triangle is um, area, I'm going to say triangle is one half base times height. Alright, so let's look at this triangle first. I'm going to call that triangle uh, triangle one. So the area of triangle one is the base is uh, one half times the base times height. So I'm just going to write in the base. So what's the base of this triangle? Well, uh, when you're doing this, just use the base of the trapezoid um, that's part of the triangle. So this this was one of the bases of the trapezoid, and that's the base that is part of this triangle, this triangle one that we're looking at. So the base is seven miles. It's thicker. And the height will be the height of the triangle or of the uh, trapezoid, I mean, um, five miles, okay? And the, the height of a triangle um, is really, so the height of a trapezoid is the, the distance between the two bases. The height of a triangle is the distance from the base of the triangle to the vertex that's opposite the base. So here's the base of this triangle. The vertex opposite is over here. If you look at this vertex, it's kind of facing um, this base. So it's the shortest distance from, from that vertex to the base. Um, and you can see that that shortest distance corresponds to the height of the trapezoid. So it's five. So um, you can kind of think about what would make it the height of the triangle. Or you can remember, if you're following this method, um, finding the area of a trapezoid by cutting into two triangles, just remember the height of the two triangles uh, the height of each one is the height of the trapezoid. So in this case, the height of each of these triangles is going to be five miles. So one half base times height. Base is seven here. Height is five. Um, so uh, seven times five is thirty-five, and half of that is seventeen point five miles squared. 17.5 square miles. Okay, so that's this triangle. Now let's look at triangle 2. Oops. Let's let's do let's do this guy in green. Okay. Um so the area of triangle 2 
is one half base times height. The base of this triangle is the base of the trapezoid that's over here, so three miles. And the height is five, the height of the trapezoid. Um, so, and you can look at it as, um, and this might be getting a little too technical, so ignore this if 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 you don't need this. But the so the height of the triangle is the distance from the base to the vertex opposite to it, or I should say the shortest distance from the base to the vertex op, uh, opposite to it. Opposite to it. So if you call this the base, this would be the vertex opposite to it. And in order to see that the height is the shortest distance between these two, you actually have to extend the line here. Um, extend the line uh, of this base. Imagine it, this line just keeps on going um, forever like that. Uh, the shortest distance from this vertex um, to that base is not over here, not over here, not over here. It's getting shorter, 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 shorter. It's actually over here, like way outside where the triangle doesn't exist. And what is that shortest distance? Look at it. One, two, three, four, five miles. So that's the height of the trapezoid. I don't know if that helps. That could be too much information. Um, but that's where I'm getting this number. You can simply just memorize that the, the tri um, when you're splitting a trapezoid into two triangles to find the area of the trapezoid, the height of each triangle is going to be the height of the trapezoid. You can do that. You can do that too. But if you want to know why, hopefully that explanation helped. So, okay, so the um, area of this triangle, triangle two, is one half base times the height, five. Um, three times five is 15. Half of that is 7.5 miles squared. You gotta say square miles. This is a uh, area, and then we just add the areas of these two triangles up to get the area of the whole trapezoid. So, um, 17.5 plus 7.5 is 25 miles squared. 